Hi, and welcome to this unboxing and review of the Beams MHL 74 Moving Head Light. Hi, and welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the Beams MHL 74 Moving Head Light. Uh, these are really simple, very, very cheap uh, moving headlights. Um, they are uh, LED, they are, I think, RGBW. Um, they come in at a very, very cheap price. Uh, boxed very well. As you can see, it comes with a mounting bracket, uh, a power cord, some instruction manuals. The instruction manuals really aren't massively helpful. Um, a lot of packaging. It's, it's packaged really safely. And that's the unit. Nothing else in the box. Unit itself quite small, quite neat, good for DJ setups, good for um, for theater. We use it in a theater setup. Um, it doesn't have a zoom or a focus. As you can see, this is the beams front panel. We'll go through that in a second. Uh, this is the back panel, has a, a, a single power point. So it, can't do a pass through. Uh, it does have a three pin DMX in and out. Uh, it comes with a power cord. This one with an Australian standard plug. Okay, so if we plug it in, as I said before, just has a power in, doesn't have power con, doesn't have power out. So pretty tricky to daisy chain these together. Fire it up. You can see it starts to move straight away, goes through this warm-up cycle. Now for a small little unit, these LEDs are actually quite strong. Um, I was at, I've, I, 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 this isn't the first of these units that I've used. Um, the colors are very vibrant, very strong, and for seven LEDs, um, they put out an awful lot of light. Um, it's quite deceptive. Now to go through the menu, obviously the first is address, second is uh, DMX channel mode, then master and slave, then sound mode, then auto mode, standby, pan, tilt, LED display, uh, digital, uh, function self-testing, uh, machine time record, and reset. We'll be using uh, address mode and DMX here in the theater. Now to mount it to a bar, which is something that we'll be doing. Obviously you could use it just standing on the, on the stage if you'd like. Uh, if you want to be quick that way, we actually need to mount it to a bar. So we attach the uh, mounting bracket that comes with it basically just screw it to the bottom the other thing we've got to attach of course is the uh, the lug for the safety chain just screws in it's attached it comes with it uh, just screws into a, a, a screw on the bottom. And there we go, ready to get it up in the roof. Okay, so we take it up to a bar. There it is. Let's get it on the bar. Okay. After attaching it, tightening it, we get our power cord, plug that in. A DMX in and out. As you can see, this is a three pin system. The 
the next thing is a safety chain. One thing, especially when you're hanging it above people's heads, you've always got to make sure that you attach the safety chain. This will be positioned above actors, above the stage. So the last thing we want is any accidents. Okay, let's fire up the lighting desk. Bring up the main slider. As you can see, it changes colors very quickly. It's very responsive. They're very bright. These are some preset colors that we have in the desk. You can also move it, obviously, from the desk. As you can see here, I've got it set to basically just do a simple circle. Moves quite nicely, moves quite freely. It's relatively silent. But as you can see, for one small unit, it actually lights up the stage pretty well. Uh, we actually have six of these. This was a replacement unit. Um, and here I'm just scrolling through a variety of different colors. changes colors, its movement, it's very quick. For its price, they are really quite a useful and handy little device. If you're looking to just add a simple LED moving light, um, it has plenty of presets. Uh, I would certainly recommend this unit.